Hello everybody, here we are in the final game of the season for Old Dominion and it's at North Carolina and looking at their previous games, they've kind of had an up and down season. They're 5-5 five and five and they're in about the middle of the pack in the ACC, so it's been kind of an average year for them, but uh, Old Dominion would like to come in and, and surprise everybody because North Carolina is much higher rated than Old Dominion despite the record maybe not showing as such for North Carolina and one thing they have going for them is 350 yards per game of total offense that's an average yardage amount so can Old Dominion's defense stop that offense Old Dominion has been playing very well defensively as of late but they're gonna have their hands full with North Carolina today we'll see if they can stop that next It's a beautiful day for football, maybe a little chilly, but you can actually see the players breathing due to the uh, chilliness of the air, and Old Dominion gets the ball to start the game here in North Carolina, home of the Tar Heels and their powder blue, which is oh so famous, Tyree Lee, no gain on that play, and they do have a very tough defense on top of their offense, and they are very aggressive defense. They will go at you with the blitz. They will go for the interceptions. Heineke dancing around in the pocket and throws this one. In, I don't know where he was throwing that one because it went straight to the North Carolina defender. There was literally, literally nobody in an Old Dominion jersey in that vicinity. So Bryn Renner is going to get sacked on this play by Dominique Gwyn Bailey, the defensive tackle, who's having himself a pretty solid season. So it would be third and nine, and look at this. TJ Thorpe makes a diving catch. It's a one-handed diving catch. We gotta look at this again because it was awesome. Awesome possum. Look at this. Diving one-handed, going back, and he actually gets clipped by a defender there, and he still holds on. Third and seven, they're running a little halfback screen to AJ Blue, but Caleb Taylor, the middle linebacker, blows that one away. So field goal for North Carolina, except Lineman did move on the play, so it's going to move this field goal back five yards. We do have a left-to-right wind here, and look at five yards makes all the difference. If they were any closer, that probably would have gone in. But uh, Old Dominion's next drive would, in fact, end on a three-and-out in completion, so it would be North Carolina ball, and Sean Tapley is found for 40 yards. A big gain for North Carolina, and A.J. Blue out of the shotgun. Handoff. He's going to get stopped for a three-yard loss. And that's Larry Alston, the outside linebacker who has played very well recently. He's had some very good games. And third and 13, Renner is sacked by Alex Johnson. Defensive end who's having himself a pretty great season. Fifth sack of the season for Johnson. So there you go, Tyree Lee. Nine-yard gain. And, of course, Lee piling on to his record-setting season in Old Dominion school history. So there you go. He gets the first down on a five-yard rush, and third and four. Taylor Heineke back to pass. He's throwing this one in triple coverage. Thought he could find Blair Roberts for some reason. That was a poor decision. Heineke is only one of seven so far. So next drive, Bryn Renner is going to make a couple guys miss on this play. And uh, he's not the fastest quarterback around, but he can get it done when he needs to. First and ten, Caleb Taylor, though, put a spy on Bryn Renner, and he was all over that one. So second and 13, they're going to find his receiver, Eric Ebron, for five yards. It's a third and eight situation for North Carolina's offense. And Renner looking back to pass. He has all day to throw, but great coverage. Blows that one away, and the defense has really stepped it up as of late for Old Dominion, as I was saying earlier. And they're getting it done. First quarter, there's no score on the board from either team, and Antonio Vaughn, after... A penalty on the offense that made it first and 18. Vaughn makes this a very easy second in inches. And a great catch there to set up a manageable situation for Old Dominion. The first down would be picked up by the Monarchs. And Heineke back to pass. He had Antonio Vaughn wide open over the middle of the field. But 
He overthrew him, and that play really could have been a touchdown there. But Heineke finds Blair Roberts on a little middle screen for eight yards. And third and two now. It's very manageable again, but Tyree Lee gets completely blown up. And, of course, North Carolina's defense, they get it done. And look at that celebration. Pretty hilarious. First and ten for Bryn Renner in North Carolina offense. Pressured, and he throws this one falling away. Finds T.J. Thorpe wide open, though, and that's no problem for Renner at all. So, looking to the left side again, he finds his man, Quinshaw Davis. Third and one now around midfield. He fits, I don't know how he fit that one in, but he does find T.J. Thorpe, and it's a first down. And uh, they run that no-huddle aggressive offense. This North Carolina team is all aggressive. No huddle up and down the field. Their defense blitzes like mad. I just don't know what's up with this team. But A.J. Blue, seven-yard run. Make it third and three. A manageable situation. I keep bringing that up. But what happened here? One of the most hilarious things I think I've seen in this game. I laughed for maybe three or four minutes straight because I didn't know what happened. It looks like he was trying to give the ball to A.J. Blue, and Blue was having none of it. He did not want the ball, and uh, Renner just tripped because uh, Blue just said, no, I don't want the ball, so Renner trips and base plants. So that was pretty hilarious. And on 4th and 9, of course, they kick the field goal. First points of the game go to North Carolina 3 to nothing. A tussle going on in Tucson. The Ducks strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. So here we go, looking at this second and ten for Taylor Heineke. He's going to find Antonio Vaughn. That's a blitz beater, the slant route. Vaughn very good at that. So second and eleven, North Carolina brings a nearly all-out blitz, and it's going to be Blair Roberts wide open on the left side down for 57 yards and the touchdown. Unbelievable, and this is what you do when you see a blitz coming, just audible into a quick passing play, lobs this one to Blair Roberts. Nobody's catching him because nobody was in coverage, or at least nobody that could catch him that was in coverage. It's like one safety. That was literally an all-out blitz, and it cost them dearly. So sometimes being aggressive, not the best option. So Renner on the next drive back to pass gets swatted away. Great defense again. 7-3, to three, Old Dominion leading late in the first half. Renner's going to take off. He's going to make Caleb Taylor miss, making him look silly before he's brought down for a gain of 16. So they will get right back into the action with a no huddle, third and 12. Renner looking to pass out of the shotgun. He's hit by Dominique Win bailey and it's a fumble. It would punt it away with a minute to go. Old Dominion now looking to try and put another set of points on the board and it's Tyree Lee, a tough run for 15 yards, what a run that was hard nosed running Heineke looking to throw it he was just throwing this one in the ground and Antonio Vaughn scoops it up but nothing would become of that drive so it's 7-3 to three. at halftime, Old Dominion is leading North Carolina Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step rep, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David, but... Could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, well, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But, you know, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well, and, you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time, and, and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play, you know, the game out of their comfort zone. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. We are back here in the second half, and North Carolina gets the ball to start the half. And as you can see, Renner looking to throw, finds Blue, and they are pinned back in their own territory. Third and 14, they would fail to convert. And it would be great field position for Old Dominion on their first drive of the second half. Heineke rolls out, and look who's going to be open. It's Larry Pinkard making the leaping grab for 32 yards. 
big gain, and this sets up a huge situation in the red zone. And look, it's Blair Roberts again, this time a diving catch in the back of the end zone. What a pass and what a catch from Heineke to Roberts. Look at this again. This was a great play in the corner of the end zone. Nobody covering Roberts again. And it's 14-3, Old Dominion leading North Carolina on the road. And Old Dominion has yet to beat an ACC opponent as they've played Maryland, Virginia Tech, Pitt this season, and they've had no success against those teams. So they're hoping to continue the success, especially defensively, as they've held Bryn Renner in the North Carolina offense in check for most of the game. But Roy Smith, a big first down there to keep the drive alive. They run a halfback screen to A.J. Blue, the defense... Not fooled by that one. Fourth and five, though, North Carolina. Too long for a field goal, too short for a punt, and they do get the first down. Keeps the drive going. First and ten now for Bryn Renner. Gives it off to A.J. Blue out of the shotgun. Blue making some kind of shifty moves there. Thirteen-yard gain, and they are moving right down the field on the Old Dominion defense. They must have seen something on that last drive that they can exploit, and it's Roy Smith. 13-yard touchdown reception from Bryn Renner. So it's 14-10, anybody's game still. Heineke rolling out, and he's going to get hit so hard he fumbles the ball at the 15-yard line. And North Carolina gets the ball with great field position, a chance to take the lead now and steal the momentum from Old Dominion. Third and three, Bryn Renner looking to throw out of the shotgun, has all day. And he's going to throw this one. Looked like it was caught by TJ Thorpe, but it was in fact knocked away. And so they settle for the field goal because it is still the third quarter. 14-13 the score. Second and three. Heineke on a play action. Lobs it out to Connor Martin. He had loads of space to make that catch on the big pass play. Play action has done very well for Old Dominion. A halfback screen to Tyree Lee here as we start the fourth quarter. Gets the first down. Keeping the drive alive. Third and six. It's Old Dominion's biggest third down of the game. And it's Jaquail Bailey. Look at the moves on this guy. 20 yards. His first reception of the game. He's been a little quiet lately. Haven't heard much from Bailey. But backup halfback CJ Bradshaw comes in for a snap. And loses five. So third and 15. Heineke looking to throw. He finds Jaquail Bailey again. And for the second time this drive. Jaquail Bailey comes up big on third down. To get the first down. First and goal, Tyree Lee looking like he's going to get in. He didn't break the plane, though, before going down. So at the one-yard line, second and goal, right up the gut, it's Tyree Lee. Another touchdown he can add to his season. And it's going to be 21-13 to now with 4.26 to go. It's still a one-score one game. So North Carolina, plenty of time. And plenty to work with here. And look at the return. He gets some great blocking and great moves to set up around midfield. A big return for North Carolina. Just what they needed to keep themselves alive in this game and get some momentum. And look at this. Sean Tapley, a 10-yard reception. Things are going well, and they're running their no-huddle offense like nobody's business. But A.J. Blue has stopped for no gain, and it's third and 10 now. And another big third down for the Old Dominion defense. It's dropped. By TJ Thorpe. So that drive would end, and Old Dominion's next drive would go three and out. So, with two minutes and eight seconds to go, it's an eight point game. North Carolina incomplete pass on first down. So, second down, five wide receivers. Renner looking to throw, and he is going to get hit as he throws this one. Batted away. Great defense. So, third and ten. Renner looking has all day to throw. He finds his man, Quinshad Davis. 17 yards. And they will keep going. 154 to go. Renner looking now, trying to find his man. And look at it's Tapley again. He's had Tapley, Davis, and Thorpe, his main receivers, his main targets. Second and 10 now, 143 to go. This play is completely blown up. Only a yard on that play. And Caleb Taylor has had a monster season. He's only a sophomore, so he has plenty of time to continue his career. And it's a penalty against the offense. So it's third and 14, that penalty, a huge one. Renner looking to throw. Quinshad Davis, though, he caught it, but it was out of bounds. He did not get a foot in. So fourth and 14, they have to go for it. 
Renner looking throw short of the marker and the defense comes up big. That would be the game. Old Dominion upsets North Carolina. Not many people saw this one coming. Especially with Old Dominion playing on the road. Packed house in Chapel Hill and they pull off the big win. And Old Dominion finishes the season strong after an 0-6 start. The defense finally came to play. And the offense, well, they showed some competency. And look at that. The play of the game right there, in my opinion, Blair Roberts, 57 yards on that reception. Huge, huge day for Old Dominion. They finished the season 5-7, and seven, which, if you ask me, is a pretty great record to finish with considering the horrible start that Old Dominion had. We'll take a look at the BCS standings. Here in the final weeks of the season, Ohio State, Oklahoma, and AM. No undefeated teams are left, so it's going to be an interesting fight to see who can get into the national championship game at the end of the season. We'll cover all that and more in our off season episode, which will be coming up next. We'll be looking at recruiting and everything else that wrap up the season. And then we will be going into season two, guys. I've got some things lined up for that, so. Be on the lookout, and I will see you all next time.